Hi, my name is Van and I'm a PhD student in the group of computational phylogenetics. Um, my field is cancer phylogenetics and to me phylogenetics is really important, not only in the term of finding the relationship between some plants or species or organisms, but they can also play a big role in finding the relationships of different cancer cells in a tumor. And based on that, we can develop personalized medicine therapy for each cancer patient. Uh, hi, uh, I'm Puma, and I'm uh, a PhD student at the Computational Phylogenomics Group at here at ANU. And uh, my work is like mostly in the intersection of computer science and uh, biology. So I'm working uh, on uh, efficient algorithms for phylogenetic dating, especially to speed up uh, phylogenetic dating because um, since we have like a lot of um, huge data sets now, so we can speed up algorithms to help scientists to like um, do phylogenetic dating pretty quickly. Yeah, that's my, my research. Phylogenetic dating is basically we try to estimate a divergence time, like uh, how, when um, the spe certain species, uh, certain lineages start to diverge in uh, units of, a unit of time. Like in phylogenetic trees, we basically uh, have branches and we try to estimate these uh, uh, times using a fossil record, such a kind of fossil kind of fossil evidence uh, to get some uh, idea when these uh, lineages um, try to evolve in unit of time. From my perspective, the data is being collected really well right now thanks to the biologists and we can take like a slice of any cancer types and from there we can try to find the sequences of that cancer cells and it can be either like some protein sequences or DNA sequences and based on the phylogenetic models we can partially already, I mean it's not optimized yet and we can also like infer a phylogenetic tree between these cancer cells but the optimization part depends on the work of humor uh, today in the like the workshop with the student we started by introduce to them what the phylogenetic is like what a phylogenetic tree looks like and what kind of information they can convey Together with that, we also like um, introduce to them some important terminologies that we use in phylogenetics, and then we also try to give them some like a brief a preview of DNA sequences, protein sequences, and the steps to step of a practical approach to them. Uh, we also like try to introduce to them some phylogenetics tools, particularly IQ tree, which was developed and have has been developed by our team and yeah and then the, there is a really fun part for all students that is practical work for the student that is was introduced by Puma. Yeah so in the practical approach like we mainly use three softwares like um, a kind of uh, software to uh, hold mega to visualize the alignment and then uh, students we gave insight to students how to use IQ tree like softwares like pretty accurate software and how to get a uh, phylogenetic tree from starting from a DNA sequence and then how to validate uh, how you can uh, get uh, like uh, branch support estimates to check whether how accurate the phylogeny and then they get the output from the IQ tree software and then visualize it like then they can um, get some insight how uh, how to actually use a software to uh, why we need to use a software to uh, get a phylogenetic tree. So that's the basic idea in phylogenetics that today we do in the workshop. Yeah. So most of the students today, like they are pretty much interested in uh, what we are doing as researchers and uh, they ask a lot of questions about uh, and they are very interested in what we are doing. So that's the most interesting part because one day they will also to progress, like to get, develop this uh, field, uh, we need uh, more people and uh, the student, I think 
there will be a good chance it will be a good chance for them to learn and ask from question from us and they, yeah this was uh, uh, pretty exciting yeah yeah, for me, I think it's also the same. I still remember that when the students asked me that, hey, which field are you working in? Is it exactly also phylogenetics, like with the plants? And I told them, no, I'm working with cancer phylogenetics. And they said, oh, what does it mean? And I tried to explain more and they were like, oh, yeah, that's so cool. So it means that phylogenetics can also be applied with other species, other type of data. Um, I went into the field of cancer phylogenetics because in my opinion and according to biological knowledge, we have one tumor, but each cancer cell within a tumor doesn't develop at the same rate. Uh, some of them can have like a faster rate, they turn into the cancer cells in stage four, like the last stage of like when the cells are dead. But why the others are like in the stage one or two. So it means that with a tumor, we can apply the same therapy. And I believe that with phylogenetics, we can like try to find that which day is the best, like which therapy we should apply. It doesn't mean that once some cells are in stage four, it means that we have to apply the ultimate therapy to this patient or this tumor.